Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make chicharrones at home. This is going to be good. Okay, so for chicharrones, I will be using pork belly. This is a little over five and a half pounds of pork belly meat. And what I like to do, I, I, you don't really have to do this. There's so many ways to do this, but I am going to uh, score the pork belly, the fatty part, in like a cross hatch. And now I'm just gonna go in the opposite direction this way. Now I'm gonna cut it into slices and they're gonna be thick slices, maybe um, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. But I want these slices, so. There we go. Okay, so, so I'm going to be cooking this into, um, I'm gonna cook this in my Instant Pot. You can boil your pork belly until tender uh, on the stove top with lots of water and salt. Some people even put baking soda in it. I'm opting for the Instant Pot. I hope all this will fit, we'll see. <laughs> but I'm just going to start putting my slices here into the Instant Pot. Um, this is just the quickest method. I like to do these at home. You definitely, well, I'm gonna have to clean that. Um, you definitely can um, do this on the stove top. A lot of people do this outside as well. Um, now I am going to Add water, it's about four cups to a liter of water. Should be enough. Just kind of get it in there. I'm also going to add some salt. Okay, so I'm going to add like, I'm kind of eyeballing stuff, but like a tablespoon of salt. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So I'm just gonna, um, what I did is I kind of pressed this down and mixed around the salted water. I should have added the salt into the water first. Now, um, we're gonna put this into my Instant Pot. Make sure it's locked. Make sure this is on a ceiling. You wanna make sure it's on the ceiling. Okay, now I am going to, let's see here, pressure cook. I have the pressure cook on high. Um, and I'm gonna go for, let's see, meat stew, yeah. Okay, so the pork belly's cooking. And like I stated earlier, you definitely can cook it on the stovetop for several hours until it gets tender. Um, and I didn't show you this, but earlier I soaked it in cold water with one tablespoon of vinegar. I let it soak for an hour. I drained the water, rinsed it, patted it dry, and then I started cutting it. And you can also do prep work for the pork belly the night before. Uh, same thing, rinse it in cold water, soak it, pat it dry, and then salt the top and let it set in your refrigerator overnight. This actually will help remove a lot of the moisture, which the end result gives you that crispy snap when you fry the chicharrones. But you know, this is my quicker, easier version. Okay, so it cooked and then I just let it do a natural uh, pressure release. It's been sitting here for 41 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes works, but if you wanna do the quick release, you gotta be careful. And before I open it, you wanna check for any pressure left. So I'm gonna, and see how this button is still up? That indicates that there's still pressure left in there, so you gotta be careful. I'm gonna release it, do a quick release. There we go. Once that button, once you see this button drop down, that lets you know that it's all released. So I'm gonna place the pork belly. I, I layered napkins underneath here, parchment paper, and I'm gonna remove them and just uh, lay them in a single layer on my large baking sheet, and then I'm gonna pat them dry a little bit and just let them kind of hang out for a little bit before frying. Okay, so there it goes, it dropped down. Now I can safely unlock this. 
Oh gosh, smells good and there's only salt and water in there. Well now it's this like pork broth and I will save the broth for later use um, for something else. I think it's good to reuse. So now I'm going to remove uh, my pork belly strips. So these are really soft. Now I'm gonna take just a napkin and kind of just get rid of some of the moisture. And you could let this cool, um, but because I want this to be kind of quicker, <laughs> I'm just gonna pat it dry a little bit and then um, I'm gonna prep my oil and preheat it before I fry it. Okay, so here I'm gonna start with two pounds of lard. It's just what I have. And I'm just gonna let that melt down and preheat. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting, should be hot enough, I kinda tested it, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so that's enough to start with, um, and now I'm just going to fry these until they are crispy and golden brown, and it's going to take some time. Once the chicharrones are done, I'm going to place them here on my baking sheet with a, a rack just to hang out and let any residual oil or lard just kind of drip off, and that'll just help them to stay crispy. Okay, so these are done. I'm going to carefully remove these from the, the oil and the lard. And then right onto my baking sheet. There we go. Okay. okay, so here are my homemade, quick and easy version of chicharrones. And I want you, these are still kind of hot, but I want you to hear like the crunch on these. Mmm. So crunchy and crispy, the skim. And the meat still has like that meaty, juicy chew to it. I love it. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.